Sure Hand makes effortless, effortlessly beautiful ABCs. This videos, videos like this by brush lettering artists are mesmerizing, aren't they? Even sort of relaxing just to sit back and soak in and watch. Since we all work with pen and ink almost every day, fancy lettering like this actually isn't out of reach. You can practice and learn over a weekend, I'm told. Jennifer Lee is here to share how I feel like I would love to get into this. It is so addicting and addicting. fun. Addicting. It really is. It's way fun. Does it become kind of that mindless therapeutic exercise? It is. I'll sit down and I'll just write the alphabet because it calms me down. <laughs> you say anyone can learn? Absolutely. And I love this topic, you can teach yourself to learn because that's how I started. You can teach yourself. Absolutely. By trial and error, you can teach yourself, and hopefully I can tell you a few errors to avoid. <laughs> so the art of brush lettering, then, I would assume, if, it, if, you, if you can be a self-taught uh, brush lettering artist, there's not a ton of hard, fast rules? No, no, there's not. There's a few rules, and it's all dealing with pressure, but once you get that muscle memory, you're good to go. All right, what is the key to using the pens? And let's talk about the pens. There's a special kind of pen for this look, right? Yes, there are, they're brush pens. And the key to these brush pens is that they act like a paintbrush in that they're flexible at the tip. So when you put more pressure on it, mm -hmm. it's gonna create a thicker line. Mm -hmm. And when you let off on the pressure, that's gonna create the thin line So I, I was thinking it was more about angle of the pen, but you say it's all about pressure. It's all about pressure. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Once all right. you get the right tools, it's all about pressure. How long do you think it will take? Let's say we set out and we want to be a beautiful brush letter artist like yourself. How long, really realistically? You know, if you sit down on a weekend with your friends, kind of help each other out, teach each other, get some of these tools that I'm going to show you, you can do something simple like a card in a weekend and feel confident in it. If you're going to want to sell your work, it'll take a few years. Sure, of <laughs> practice. I'm yeah. Sure. yeah, absolutely. You mentioned uh, the right tools. Set us up for success. What okay. do we need? So the right tools. This is a great thing to go get. I would highly recommend this. This I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay. It's a beginner's brush lettering kit and okay. it has everything I'd start with, which is the Tombow dual brush pens. These are these bigger ones. And then a Tombow hard nib pen as well, which is the smaller one. So okay. for smaller lettering and for bigger writing. For the details? These are the best things to start with. Okay. And then you're going to want the right paper as well. What's this? That's that's an eraser oh. and then just a pencil as well. Okay. And then so, paper, does paper matter? The paper kind of does paper? matter I would get something smooth like this is the this is the paper that's right here you can okay. tell how smooth that is yeah this is an HP laser jet premium paper it's not expensive I was gonna say it feels a little fancier and, yes. and chicer than what I just run through my regular printer uh -huh, but it's not gonna cost you a ton okay so I'd get that and I also get tracing paper because this is smooth mm -hmm. and this is so good for practicing oh, as good. well okay so, All right, you're gonna give us some exercises to do? Yes, in fact, for practice, one of the things I do is get some worksheets. There's some online on Tombow's website. I sell a workbook as well, which is what is, you see here. Mm -hmm. And for practice, you'd stick this right underneath the tracing paper. Okay. And then you can start practicing your strokes. Just, tr oh, there, see, that was the pressure you were talking yes, about, light. Yes, the pressure, light going up. And then down. And when you pull the pen towards yourself, you push harder. Okay. And these are the two strokes I'd focus on, uh -huh. is this overturn and then an underturn, where you... I'm thinking back to third grade, learning cursive. I don't even know if they learn <laughs> cursive anymore in third I, grade, but they were talking about the smoothness and the connectivity of the, of the letters. Is that apply here? Yes, it does, for sure. And that's why this tracing paper is great, uh -huh. is because... I can practice and then I can do it again. And you'll on just the next fly page. through these workshops, fly yes, these worksheets. But rather. I would do it slow to begin with as you get used to what this pen does. May I? Mm -hmm. May Absolutely. I try? Absolutely. So, what does practice look like for you now that you're an accomplished? Practice artist? for me, I will still do some of this, but mostly I just like to write the alphabet over and over because I can focus on how I connect those letters. Good job. Okay, see that first one though I struggled, I was right. like, fine up, fine down. And when down. you came up and here, then you remembered to push hard. I said, hard. more pressure, Jenny taught me. Here That's perfect. Here it goes. Kind perfect. of, not yep, quite. Yeah, you'll want to go lighter on the way up. Light, oh, so not make it so thick on the way up. Yep. Got it, Light got on it, the got way it. Up, and then start pushing pressure. down. Ooh, that's good. <gasps> It kind of is a totally new way to write, isn't it? It is a very new way to write. It's very deliberate and you have to think every step out. Okay, there's the opposite. That's Ooh. why I say to practice these two strokes, because these two strokes, the overturn and underturn, they're gonna make up a lot of your letters, mm -hmm. like your U's and your N's and part of your H. What would that everything. little pen be for, the detail pen? The little pen, this is just for smaller writing. Oh. This is just for smaller but writing. But the same strokes apply? Same strokes, it's just gonna be smaller. What did you call the stroke, the over? 
Overturn and underturn. Overturn and underturn. Yep, so you're going from thin to thick and from thick to thin. So we saw that video coming in from the commercial break. Are there lots of those available on Instagram? Is that a good way to practice too, is to visually soak in kind of the art form? Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of how I learned in the beginning was Instagram, honestly. I would search specific hashtags like brush lettering or the hashtag real time lettering. Okay. Because then it's gonna be slow. Cause a lot of our videos that we put on Instagram are sped up to fit in that little Instagram Sure, spot. so hands are flying. So if you search real time lettering, then you can look for specific things like when does she lift her pen? And how do you connect the letters to each other? Because that's a really hard thing to learn is how See to how connect the letters. pretty that is? See this one's sped up just a little bit. Uh huh. But you can still concentrate on when the pen is lifted and how those letters are connected together. It's timed enough. It, g it gives you a chance to see and, uh -huh. and get a glimmer of that connection. That but we there's enough about. of real-time lettering videos out there that you could really learn. This one's real-time right here. And you can see how deliberate each stroke is uh -huh. and how I lift my pen each time I make a stroke. Several times in a letter even, I'll lift my pen. Are there rules for when you lift per letter or is that just dependent on the individual artist's style? I don't say it's a rule, but it definitely makes it a lot easier. Like you know, if I'm gonna go into an R as my next consonant, then I'm gonna lift that up uh -huh. in between those letters. Yeah, yeah. I, you wanna lift it at specific spots. Which... Will you show us kind of a connected word? I mean, it was fun yeah. to see like, you know, the individual letters and Absolutely. that's clearly where the practice comes in. When do you know that you're ready to start Flowing it out. Oh gosh. Um, when do you know that? that you're ready to take off the training reel? <laughs> Once that mu muscle memory kind of starts to kick in and you know when you're lifting your pen in the right spot, okay. then you can start to kind of take off. Um, I'm just gonna write thank you because this is a, something I see a lot. People which is, I just wanna be able to write a card right, on my own. a pretty card. So I'm gonna start with a downstroke on a T. Got it. Just basically like that. Got it. And I have a space now to connect my next letter. Okay, I'm just gonna have the downstroke add right on top of that one. Okay. And it's a lot of just adding strokes, one right on top of the other. Oh, pretty. And then suddenly, oh, pretty. the words are formed. Yes. So I'm adding separate strokes. It's cool from my angle, it may just be the studio lights too, and once the ink dries, it might not be as noticeable, but I like the shading, right? The yes. more pressure you put, the darker, obviously more ink that lays on the page. Yes, some of the pens create a really nice kind of ombre effect yeah. like that by themselves. Oh my gosh, this is like a master, what? There it is, <laughs> masterpiece in front of our eyes. It's way fun. And once you get into the flourishes like this. Then oh. you can really show some creative expression, I'm sure. Oh, it's so much fun. Do you use line guides at all or how do you space it out when you're doing a phrase like this? I do use line guides when I'm practicing, but so when, cool. I, when I do a final piece, I really just do pencil over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get out the tracing paper and I'll do it in ink. This was fun. This it's was really fun. Way fun. You mentioned you offer the practice workbook. Where can we find that? I do. Lettersanddesigns.com. You can find my practice workbook and you can download it and get started. Okay. This was an exciting kind of tiptoe into it the is. world of brush lettering. We can only pretend to be as talented an artist as you are. Thank you so much. Thank you so for much. For the inspiration.